What's up guys, it's Hasman12 and welcome back to the series where we go through sort of the best quality footballing content you will ever see on YouTube and that is my Sunday League series. <laughs> so yeah, judging by how well my Sunday League series is doing on my channel, I'm pretty confident you guys are liking this series but just to make sure that you actually are enjoying them. Can you just leave a like just so I know to keep making them? Alfie's messaged me in the middle of recording. It's better be important. This, this is the message. Thank you, Alfie. <laughs> and if you could just ignore the um, Winnie the Pooh duvet cover for the entire video, that would be much appreciated. Right, so before we're going to start the game, we're going to go through the team lineup. So obviously we, we stick with Jack Aubrey in goal, he's our main keeper. And then we have Harry Cook and Marcus, our two centre-backs. Harry Cook wasn't, in, wasn't playing last week. Grange, right back, I think he was right back from last game. Our left back is Charlie Keynes, and if you're thinking, Harry, who is that? Let me just quickly jog your memory. Then we have Tristan and Ethan as our two central midfielders. I think you probably remember who they are. And then JP is our Cam, he's the one that I go to school with. And then obviously myself as our right winger, and then Finn, our left mid. I think this three, like, like me, JP and Finn, we were the three last week as well, so I think you recognize us. And then Tom Krause, who is our striker this week. As I said last week, we put Krause in centre back, and I said that he usually plays striker, so we moved him to striker this week. And the team we are playing, they are called Wolf the Wolves, and we're actually playing someone who I go to school with. Who, since I joined this, I've always been wanting to play them because they're like our rivals, if that makes sense. As you can imagine, we were like taunting each other till the first whistle of the game, basically. So yeah, without further ado, let's see how we fare against Wolf and Wolves. Right, so we kick off, you can see I'm stretching my legs there. I hit leg day in the gym before, basically. I know, gym lad. So we kick off, and then the ball comes to me. I try and sort of nutmeg him, but it doesn't really work. They win the ball, and you can sort of question the commitment in the challenges, but it's Sunday League, what else can you really expect? And then Tristan, yeah, he plays it back to me. I hoof it down to clear it, and then Marcus hoofs it back to JP, who heads it to Tom Krause, our striker. Uh, this doesn't come to anything. So then, this is our second attack of the game. Tristan does, does really well to get past quite a few people. He lays it off to um, Harry Cook, Tom Grange, plays it to Crowell, our striker. It doesn't quite come to um, me, I think it was. And then here, the ball sort of ping around, you know, the classic sort of Sunday League. And then you can sort of question the commitment of JP's challenge. But well, yeah, that was actually Tom Tugan who played that. I then challenged their player. I then get past a few, try and run. I tried actually like chipping it like over the defenders, but it didn't really work. And then I still got the ball, but then they found me and it's our free kick, JP. And then he takes it. And it's not a bad free kick to be fair, but um, the header is just wide. Actually, yeah, one thing before I keep the video going, this pitch was absolutely dreadful. If you imagine, if ever you guys have gone skiing, imagine like the main run that goes down to all the lifts, like that everyone goes to, and then imagine it right at the end of the day. You can imagine like all the moguls, like everywhere. That's what it was like playing on this pitch. It was awful. And Tom, I'm sure you won't disagree. Yeah, so that was my excuse for missing the chip through ball. So this was the first sort of attack of the game. And it didn't really come to much because Jack Aubrey, our keeper, claimed it well. He didn't catch it, but he still got there well. So then they have a corner, and then they, they actually like flick it on, but the, the guy who headed it right at the back missed the goal, and he just headed it behind him. So then we're back on the front foot with Tom Krause on the ball. He then plays it to Finn, it's a nice little flick round. Finn then plays it in the box, but sadly no one's there. Admittedly, yes, I probably should have run in, but... Wolfson sort of wake up a bit, and then they come on the attack. He's number 11, skips past a few players, goes for a shot, and it's deflected out for a corner. So before this clip starts, I want to apologise to Finn. Basically, we came on the counter. Finn did well to tackle him. He got past another player, but then somehow he fell over. I mean... <laughs> I'm sorry. So then Marcus, who is our centre back, actually gets forward. He plays it through to me, but unfortunately just behind me. But then somehow he falls over. I didn't even think I clipped him, but maybe. Maybe it was a bit of a dive. Maybe I clipped him. I don't really know. So then they win the ball on my side of the pitch. I probably should have been a bit more committed in the challenge. And then probably even more committed here. <laughs> but yeah, then they try and chip it through as their three board comes to nothing. Tristan wins the ball. I think he gives it to me. He does give it to me. And then I hold him off, and then Tristan chips it through to crowds, but unfortunately doesn't come to anything. So now we have our first shot on goal. Camera's a bit out of focus, but anyway, we continue. Tom Krause does well to win the ball. And then, unluckily, the keeper actually pulls off a pretty decent save to uh, stop it. It looked like it was going like middle right. Right, so we're on the attack again. Tristan plays it to Ethan, who's thinking about the Ronaldo chop turn, but pulls out of it. 
because it's not really safe in that area. And then Tom Grange plays it to me, who I then flick it through the legs to Jack Paul. It doesn't quite get to him. Tom Toogood, who is our like, rival at school, plays it to their left winger, and then I slide in with a challenge. And then here they're sort of on the attack, but because Jack Aubrey's quite aware of what he's going to do, he slides in so he can't like, run around him. I wasn't actually watching the game. Harry, I was sort look of... at the game. <laughs> There's Jack actually like having a go look. at me. Look. Yeah, anyway, they play it through. It's a good That's ball. A good ball. And then he cuts back inside, goes for a shot, but it's, it's defended well. And then here Jack Paul is doing, he's trying to um, steal the limelight by trying to panic him, but he's having none of it. So here they play up their main striker, who then gives it straight to me. I then slide it in between them to Jack Paul, who looks at um, Tom Krause and Finn. He plays it, it's a bit long, but then Finn actually gets there, fair play to him. Cuts back inside, he's wondering sort of how to try and score. Then Krause cuts back in again himself, and it doesn't come to a goal, unfortunately. So here we have our uh, throw in, and then Krause plays it back to Finn, who uh, does well to Panna, their defender. He then plays it in. Uh, admittedly, yeah, I should probably have got there. It's a bit um, in front of me, but then I make up for it with this nice flick around the defender. Left him for days, but then I play it too long, and then too good is there to defend. So yeah, just after that clip that you just saw, we the manager had to phone an ambulance because that defender's ankles got broken. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> so now they're on the attack, it comes from a throw and it's not much sort of skill involved, it's just sort of pure pace. They lob it forward and then they just sort of, yeah, they just sort of run. And then Charlie Kane, the left back, does well to keep up with him. Unfortunately, Charlie Kane kind of trips over. <laughs> And then it's uh, their throw in. So again, there's not really much happening here, but it just sort of pinballs back and forth. But it ends up being a pretty decent challenge from Charlie Keynes to win the ball back. So here on their team, they have a wannabe Paul Pogba. He thinks he can score from outside the area, and it goes just wide, to be fair to him. So here, not much is happening other than um, Tom Cranes was the ball of their defender. And then it's quick, I, take it, I try and take it quickly to Jack Paul, who gets <laughs> absolutely battered. But then it, um, it comes to their player, Tom Krause does well to win the ball, but unfortunately doesn't come to anything. Tristan plays it through, a really good ball to myself. I can't do it first time because of the pitch. I try and swivel volley, but unfortunately it just like, it's just right at the keeper, unfortunately. And then Jack Paul takes another free kick. I'm not sure how it's won, but it just takes it. And it's a decent free kick, but it just needs a bit more height on it. All of them here have their like third corner of the game, and again, it doesn't really like come to anything. So Waltham have their first really good attack. The winger cuts inside and he uses the like pitch to his advantage. He's like hits it along the ground, hoping it bobbles up. He comes back to the defender. It, like, I don't know how. I, like you can see what's happening. I don't really need to explain. I don't know how it didn't go in. I think plaudits go to Grange and Albury for it not going in really. So here we have one of Jack Paul's like properly good free kicks. He wins the foul as you can see. He takes it and it almost goes top right corner. Like it's actually not that far away to be fair to him. And then that's the uh, first half done. Hopefully, and I still have a few of you watching as this video is going on for quite a while. But oh well. All right, so second half has been done. It was at this moment Jackson knew he fucked up. No, sorry, the first half has been done. The second half is now starting. So obviously we kick off. Tristan does a nice bit of skill and then gives it to Ethan. Another nice bit of skill from him. He plays it forward and um, it's just a bit too long for me and Tom Krause and then the keeper collects it. So Waltham have their first attack of this second half and they play it forward. Marcus is like having a running race with their right winger. Unfortunately for Marcus, he loses out on like the shoulder barge sort of duel. But luckily for Marcus, the, the, the attack doesn't really come for anything. And then now uh, we're on the front foot, Ethan plays it to me. I try to flick around to Jack Paul, but I don't get enough power on it and then they collect it. We're putting on a lot of high pressure onto them, as you can see Finn chasing. And then the keeper gives it to Tom Krause, our striker, who is now through on goal. And But unfortunately, he doesn't score because the keeper just gets there. He plays it straight to the defender, who's straight to Jack Paul, who I... <laughs> I shouldn't have taken the ball off him, admittedly, but then I play it to Tristan, he plays it out wide to Finn. I'm not really sure what happened there, but maybe a pulled an injury, I'm not really, pulled a hamstring, I'm not really sure, but it's a pretty decent challenge from Tristan. And then Jack Aubrey sort of just plays a aimless ball, just really high, and it's actually a really good touch from Charlie to give it to Krause, who then looks for me, but it's um, it just doesn't get to me, unfortunately. Then I try and win the ball, but I've won it just outside the box, so... It's not really a good position anyway, but I then lose the ball. And then here I'm through on goal, but then the keepers, defenders catch me. I sort of push him over and then I fall over his legs. 
crowd's going for like a bicycle kick, but it doesn't come to anything. So now it's Waltham's turn to attack. It's a nice turn from their attack, I'll give it to him. It's a pretty decent save from Jack to then um, like parry it away. As I say, the pitch is dreadful. And then Ethan, uh, who's now taking three kicks ahead of Jack Paul, he takes three kick. It's quite a decent one. Unfortunately, it sort of pings around the box and doesn't really come to anything. Just a quick clip of Tristan's shot that gets blocked and it goes out for a corner. And here is where Waltham score. So Waltham here go 1-0 up, and the cameraman doesn't quite pick up how it came, but for Harry Cook's sake, I probably won't want to explain it anyway. Basically, there was some sort of error, let's say, and then they basically just score, because the pitch, he played it along the ground, but <laughs> it just bounced over him. Anyway, they're 1-0 up. I would say, it'd be a bit of an understatement to say it wasn't deserved. And then, obviously, we have to kick off, and then they're sort of playing around us, and yeah, not really much is happening at the moment. We're quite annoyed, because... It's quite an annoying goal to concede. As we're irritated that we conceded that goal, we go and score. It's a bit controversial. You can't really see what's happening. I would say, I admit that I may have fouled them. I may have fouled them on the way to scoring, but the ref was actually their manager who was stepping in. So if anything, if it was honestly a foul, he would have called it. It's up to you whether you want me to have the goal or not, but again, it's my goal on the website, so there's only really one answer. Now, Jack Aubrey has come out of goal. You can see him, he's the one in the green shorts because it's the goalkeeping shorts, and Harry Cook has gone in goal. He's gone in goal a few times, um, I haven't been actually in the team when he's been in goal, so I can't say. And the reason Jack wants to come out of goal is because um, this game is a friendly, so it didn't really matter, and he wanted to sort of try and score. So here again, um, it's good focus from the camera. Tom Prowse is through, he, he shoots, but um, fortunately the pitch is actually on the keeper's side this time. But anyway, the ball comes back to us, we then play it out back to Tom Prowse, nice turn in, and then he... Uh, crosses it and then Jack Aubrey, our keeper, heads it and it's just over the bar. You probably know by the first or second episode, I like to take the mick out of Jack Paul. Because Jack Paul Money. runs through, oh, he's going, he's going, going, he's going to shoot Money. and he skies it over the bar. I'm joking. I can't pretend he didn't score because he did. Money. Oh, Jack. Money. Oh, Jack. Money. I used to take the mick out of him, but it's not like I can hide a goal. So now after conceding goal, Wolfham are now on the attack. And it's quite a good turn from their striker to cut back inside, but it's a good challenge from Charlie, and then they sky over the bar. So now we have a throw in with Ethan, he takes it. Unfortunately, they win the header, and then now they're on the attack, and then they, they sort of have a miscommunication, but they still have the ball. They play it to their centre midfielder, who then plays it to their right back, who then is, I think he's going for a cross, but I'm not really sure what that is. I'm pretty sure it's safe to say we can blame the pitch for that one. Waltham seems to like the right-hand side, that they're attacking again down the right side. He skips past two challenges, crosses it, but it's blocked by JP. But um, yeah, they have a corner. So they have a corner, thinking, oh, we're safe, we might score here. But Harry Cook, our substitute keeper, then kicks it forward to our old keeper, Jack Aubrey, who then actually manages to score. And that's the reason we actually put him up front, because he said he wanted to try and score. So yeah, he actually controls it with his hand here, look. Yeah, he controls it with his hand. He shoots bottom corner. It's a good finish for a keeper. So, Tom, too good. How does it feel to um, concede a goal to a keeper? See, obviously they kick off because we scored, so they would kick off. And we still want to sort of maintain the pressure, and then it's our throwing. So in this clip, not much really happens. Tristan, nice pressure. They try and play one too, but Tristan is literally everywhere. He then tackles it. He then plays it to me. Admittedly, I probably should have done better here. I get the ball, but I, then I lose the ball because I try and not make him for the camera basically, but yeah, I should, probably should have done better. So again, this clip, the game sort of pretty much over, like five minutes left in the game, the ball sort of moving around, not really much happening. But then Charlie, nice play, he gets past two well, but unfortunately loses the ball. And then they quickly play it, because they we, they know that we have a centre back missing being Charlie. But um, luckily for us, Harry Cook is there to claim the ball. And then here, after scoring my first official goal, 
I'm then going for another header, but unfortunately I'm not actually tall enough and I make, I make the keeper drop it, I suppose it's a bonus. And then we go four and up with a corner and then Tristan, it's a well-deserved goal on his behalf because he's worked hard in the game. So yeah, that's the end of the game really. That, that's full time whistle, 4-1. Tom Toogood, how'd you feel? One more thing before the video ends, I want to say that this is going to be the second last Sunday League episode. I know, but I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Our league is sort of screwed up. Like, they keep scheduling matches at the wrong time and I don't know. Basically, we've lost loads of games for some unknown reason. So I only have one more match left. It's again second place in the league, so it'll be a good one to watch. I don't know when it'll be out, but I only have one more Sunday League episode left. So hopefully you enjoy them while they're still here. And next season I will be doing more. And yeah, like if you enjoyed it, subscribe for new, and I'll see you later. And then something happened. At And then I lose sight of the ball. And then Tom Proud was our centre back. And like I said, he was moved to the upfield, back to strike where he was. So he goes to score. So 